Hey Virgo, welcome to Virgo Bright to Row, where it's all Virgo all the time. All right, we are going to get into a reading about your next romantic partner. Now, we're going to ask Spirit if this is the person you are currently dealing with, that they also show us that that is this person. It will be for some of you, for others of you, it will be new love. For others of you, it may be an ex returning. I don't know. For others of you, it may be someone that you're in a situationship with. You take it as it applies, okay? Um, I will try to... Um, get more than one scenario out if I need to otherwise if it's kind of flowing I'm just going to keep going um, just FYI there's a beautiful collective reading on rumble it's free cost you nothing so just go to bright light 444 over there like and subscribe at rumble and check that reading out as well all right I'm gonna go turn on my fan real quick because it's hot in here Virgos and we're gonna get started on this love reading all right, all right, all right. Much better, much better. You make me so hot, Virgos. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Let's see what we get here. All right, so God, Spirit, show me Virgos next. Let's do next committed relationship. Next committed relationship. What is Virgos next? Committed romantic relationship. Virgo's next committed romantic relationship. Show us this person and highlights of this person so we know who, so Virgo knows who this is. Virgo's next committed romantic relationship. All right, we got family room. All right, so family room. Could be a lot of things this person could know your family you could be comfortable with this person you could currently be living with this person this person could be in your house right now okay this person could be in your house right now virgo okay let's see virgo's next committed romantic and, and let's say you're already in a commitment with this person maybe you guys are going to get engaged or married or renew your vows or have a new spark in your love life okay all right virgo's next committed romantic relationship okay we've got the house and we've got journey there's something about a house here all right and this journey energy could be a lot of things you could have you could have been on a long journey with this person energetically throughout the relationship cycles or virgo this could involve travel so let's see why those are here before we get some more cords out okay all right let's see family room house journey okay let's clarify family room let's see family room okay we've got the moon hmm cancer pisces energy right clarify the moon for me please you know we've got the five of swords ew i don't like that Okay, this could be someone that you have spent time in a house before. Cause I wouldn't, I don't know if this would be an ex. Um, usually, when I get the moon, something's hidden, right? There's some shrouded emotion or something like that. And sometimes that five of wands is somebody who plays games, right? It's someone who um, who pretends and they want to win at all costs. So they do whatever it takes to win or not show their emotion. All right. So maybe you spent time in this person's house in the past. I don't, I'm trying to figure out how family room, may, maybe it, it resonates for you personally, where that's where you have a memory of this person is in their house or in your house, you know, and even if it was short lived. Okay. Um, we'll get some more details. We will Virgo. No worries. No worries. Where's that other deck? I'm going to pull out this little deck that I like to pull out. Oh, here it is. Let's see. Why is the family room significant here? 
Let's see, family room. Okay, we got reunion. Family reunion? Could could one of your family members bring like a friend or something? Or, or could there be like a friend of your cousin or your brother or your sister that you know they like you or something like that? And maybe you're, maybe when you were younger, this person like would pretend like they didn't like you even if they were being a little mean or something and and you, there's a re, reunification between the two of you or something you know in your hometown or your mama house or something like that could be I don't know the re, there's a reunion in a family room in a in a living room a do-over okay you see this person again so maybe you know this person okay you may know this person okay let's see why house is here same type of energy to me something about a home house being comfortable with someone 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 who's been around look we have the ten of swords so there could have been an ending between the two of you or some sort of betrayal or heartbreak could have taken place in a house um i hate to say this and i hope i hope it does not apply to to any of you but there definitely could be a situation where you guys are meeting seeing each other again at someone's funeral okay or someone's home going all right um let's see ten of swords we have the five of wands though there's like drama with this so i don't know this family drama drama anger fighting and the bottom of this deck says enemy so what is going on here what kind of soap opera y'all about to bring me into today, Virgo? Let's see. Tell me about the house energy. We got sigh. Like somebody's like, <sighs> like I really feel like. Let me focus it. Uh, I really feel like, and there's sorrow at the bottom of that. So definitely, this can be a sad situation that brings you two back together, or brings you to together somehow this could be a very specific reading okay okay tell me why journey is here okay we have the sun leo energy and the two of swords something seen and then unseen or something illuminated but blocked out or a choice made after something is seen. A choice is made because something is illuminated. Let's see. Tell me about the journey energy. Somebody could have been blocked. You know, joyful, joyfulness. I feel like, again, I don't know why I'm feeling like this. There is an energy of a separation between two people. I don't know how, what the circumstances were or how long you knew each other before that separation happened. And it could have been a long separation, like somebody went off to college, somebody went off and you guys lived separate lives for, for 20, 30, 40 years. Could be, okay, 10 years, five years, whatever. Even if you saw each other every once in a while, okay? And then something sad may bring you back together or an unfortunate circumstance. Let's clarify because I see fighting here, arguing. So this could be someone that you fought and argued with. But I really want to see why this is um, why this is here. Why the um, where is that deck? The five of wands. Let's clarify a little bit what's on the board. Oh. Clarify a little bit of what is on the board. Let's see. Let's see. The moon is here. Let's see. They have the ten of swords. If there was an ending or separation between the two of you somebody may not have expressed their feelings about that this person was hurt a whole lot more hurt than they let on that at the thought of never seeing you again okay 
let's see i want to see the five of swords why is that here give me more detail please we have the magician do you know i feel like virgo you had someone who would play games but the the game was maybe subconsciously an attempt to manifest something with you so this person pretending like they didn't like you or they didn't want you or they denied their own feelings or sabotaged the connection um really they hoped it would lead to something with you that it would manifest something with you somebody one of my neighbors is singing their heart out right now let, let me let me see let me what, what, what in the world hold on hold on child i i i, I know y'all can probably can't hear it but my lord um whatever makes them feel it sometimes singing is freeing it's healing so honey i might just i might shut my window that's about it i i you know Sing, sing, baby, sing. Anyway, let's see why this Ten of Swords is here. Could have been some sort of ending. We have the Chariot. I do feel like there was some sort of heartbreak that literally caused someone to take off on a on a journey. Okay, again, travel could be involved here. There could be a reun reuniting because of a sad situation that that may bring you all together or a, or a hard situation. Let's see the five of wands, the three of cups. This is a reunion. This is a reunion. It's possible that this person had to fight themselves because they knew they were going to see you again. Maybe it's difficult for this person to see you maybe this person blocked you maybe you all have mutual friends or again they know your family and so if big mama dies or you know um 101 year old uncle so-and-so that everybody knew passes and 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 everybody's meeting up at the house for the fume as some people say the fume or home going it may be a necessary reunion but a difficult one now that's just for some of you not for everybody I'm, I'm just sensing that that is the case for some of you some of you are going to a situation even if it's a joyful reunion a class reunion a family reunion a um what did i say class reunion or whatever a college reunion whatever if the breakup was sad or difficult or there was drama or fighting the reunion itself may be joyful but the whole while you're traveling there or they're traveling there to see you, all they're thinking of is how they hurt you or how you hurt them or how things ended or how they treated you or even that they blocked you and now they got to see you. Okay, so let's see this two of swords. We got the knight of wands. Okay, somebody could have been a player in the past and trying to block out the energy of... Um, you know their behavior now for some of you this is their plan i'm gonna be in and out you know i gotta go to this because i gotta honor such and such or i gotta see my classmates or i got whatever whatever the reunion is okay but i'm gonna be in and out of there just like that you know i'll be in and out of there there's some sort of illumination here with the sun let's clarify the sun okay we have the six of pentacles okay and the Six of Pentacles, it, it could be about an imbalance, but it also can be an acknowledgement that um, there needs to be balanced or things are more balanced than somebody thinks they are, okay? Very interesting. We have the star at the bottom of the deck, and that is Aquarius energy. We have um, Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer, um yeah what else am i seeing here leo again what was that the two of swords this is clarifying the ten of swords yeah the moon pisces and cancer energy there okay 
let's get some more because this is interesting and i know this is very specific this is not going to be a reading for everybody but let's get some some more show me this this person virgo's next um committed relationship virgo's next committed relationship virgo's next committed relationship some of you have al already reunited with this person Virgo's next committed relationship. Okay, we got twin flame energy. Wow. Twin flame. True love. Oh my goodness gracious. Virgo's next committed relationship. And we've got dating. So maybe you start dating this person. We have the ice king at the bottom of the deck. So this can be someone who's been cold towards you, all right? This can be someone who has been very detached from you um, at some point, okay? That gives me both Leo vibes because of the lion, and it gives me air sign vibes, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, because of the Ice King energy. Um, but it does not have to be any of those signs, right? Right, okay. Let's see Let's clarify this twin flame. All right. Got the will of fortune. This is a destined connection, a strong soulmate energy. And maybe you both were meant to go on separate journeys just to to become the people that you needed to be to come back together. Okay. Tell me about the will of fortune. Okay. We have both the ace of wands, a passionate new beginning. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. That's you. That's you, baby. So maybe there is this realization. Maybe that's what the sun is, that you are this person's twin flame, even if they don't know what to call it. Even if they don't know the anything about a twin flame, they feel the energy, right? So we have the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This person is watching you. And maybe they avoid watching you before, but they're certainly watching you after they see you again. Okay. All right, yes. I want to just see this Wheel of Fortune energy. Show me this Wheel of Fortune energy, please. The Two of Cups, wow. Even if it's not so, uh, uh, a twin flame, is a soulmate connection here. A soulmate. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the world. Ending old cycles and brand new cycles beginning. So happy endings. Happy endings. So if there was like uh, this this uh, tension between the two of you or arguing, fighting, drama, being mad at one another, I feel like that energy may come to an end. Tell me why the hermit is here. We have strength, Leo energy. You know, I feel like either you, this person, or both of you have purposely pulled back your energy from one another throughout whatever this separation was between the two of you okay and again it could be years for some of you all right let's see true love nine of swords you got someone who isn't ex telling you but they're thinking about you all the time they dream about you they wake up they're thinking about you and i feel like the energy is overwhelming Mm -hmm. I feel like this person ha is manifesting you. I don't feel like it's just coincidence that you all have this reunion, whatever it is, whatever is causing you all to reunite together. A bad situation, a good situation, what seems like coincidence at the Walmart or the coffee shop or whatever, or while you're out. I feel like this person has literally manifested you even if they didn't mean to because I feel like they are trying to have these negative thoughts about you to keep themselves from feeling the feels, right? They're like trying to think of everything that's wrong with you um, because they're trying to fight this love for you, right? We need to see why this person, um, we need to, we'll, we'll look at that, but we have the nine of swords and it's like they can't they cannot escape you they can't escape you and the realization that maybe they've done you you know wrong or been mean or cold or nasty towards you okay so the nine of swords and the temperance energy 
Yeah. So I feel like this person only wants peace. I don't feel like they're going to have peace until they speak with you or until, and maybe they don't realize that this, there's, there could be a lot of silence here. The high priestess is here, but maybe spirit is talking to this person. Maybe it's like a color purple thing, you know, where Celie was like, till you do right by me, everything you even think about going to fail. Right. So maybe you didn't curse this person, but maybe their own karma has been kicking their behind since whenever. All right. Let's see the nine of swords. Okay, we have the hermit energy. Yeah, they're thinking about you, you, and you, honey. Okay, tell me about the temperance energy. The two of swords. Yeah, so it's a difficult choice for this person because I feel like maybe pride, ego, self-preservation, whatever, may have kept this person from coming towards you. Now they are forced to face you because of some sort of reunion they're forced to face you they might see you while you're out on a date with somebody else oh what sweet justice <laughs> yes yes make sure you laugh at every lame joke that 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 date um spews out i don't give a damn if it's the worst day of your life if if this person is seeing you out baby you make sure it looks like you're having a good time. <laughs> That's just my level of pettiness, Virgo. You don't have to do that. But let's see. Let's see about this dating energy. Let's see. What we got going on? Justice. Well, I tell you, karma is here somewhere, baby. All right? Karma is showing up here. Libra energy. Mm-hmm. Now, it doesn't mean that you... Now, it could be this person also saying, hey, let's, let, let's go out on a date. And then dating begins to bring in the commitment. All right. So let's see the justice. Give me one more, one more, one more, please. And we have the seven of wands. Again, if this person sees you out with someone else, sweet justice, karma, right? Because they can't help but feel how they feel about that situation. For others of you, this seven of wands is more of a um, fighting for balance. If they see you with someone else, it's more of a guarded energy, I feel like, okay? All right, let's clarify these. Um, let's see about this justice card. We have the emperor, yes. Someone is man or womaning up. This is just about taking control, okay? And we have the seven of wands okay the page of cups so this feels more like this person fighting for the balance that they want to bring in this connection the ten of wands is at the bottom of the deck the ten of wands can denote a lot of guilt okay something weighing heavy on this person's conscience something they've been living with for years for some of you all right um, I did not get cards at the top, so let's get some cards at the top for the twin flame energy. The twin flame. We've got wife and we've got prison here. This person has been in, in, in a mental imprisonment for a long time, knowing that you are their divine counterpart, whether you're the wife or whether they're the wife. In their mind, in their psyche, they are they have a mental um they've been they've been mentally in prison. Okay? Eight of Swords energy. Alright? The true love. True love. And here's that constellation card. This comes out a lot for you. Where they have to make this two of swords energy, this difficult decision to come and say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me for the way I acted in the past, how I treated you in high school, how I treated you in college, how I did you in front of my friends, how whatever it is that happened, okay? All right? And I feel like it makes this person feel better to try to get this off their chest, okay? The dating energy. Let's see. The dating energy. We have enemy. For some of you, hey, they see you out with somebody else. But what's interesting is if they are the enemy, look what's at the bottom of the deck. 
friend. So enemy, friend, page of cups. Can we be friends? Can I take you out on a date? Can I take you out to coffee? That's how it begins or re begins. <laughs> That's how it may start over. Okay. For some of you, I feel like this is for the Virgo or you have a past with a person who just wasn't very nice to you, Virgo. And I don't know if this was in high school, middle school, kindergarten, college, at your last job, or if you guys met online and dated for a minute, or whatever, okay? We've got Aries energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo again. We've got Strength card, Leo, all the fixed signs, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Leo Sag Aries yet again. What is this? Okay, the Chariot, Cancer, Energy, Magician, Gemini, and Virgo. Um, oh, Sagittarius is here as well. Leo again. Sagittarius again. Yeah. Oh, and Libra. Okay. Okay. So I make sure I name all the signs because y'all be tripping about them signs, y'all. Okay. Let's see what actions this person is going to take towards you in the near future. All right, and then we will look at seeing more details about who this is, like try to get more specific of like who who this is, okay? Um, okay, so how will Virgo know who this person is? What are the actions this person will take toward Virgo in the near future? Again, it could be the person you're currently with, all right? What actions will this person take toward Virgo in the near future? And how will it lead to commitment? How will it lead to commitment of course these energies can change you know why virgo because you have free will right you could be like i don't give a damn what this person does or says um i'm not taking them back or i'm not going to be friends with them or i'm not going to forgive them whatever it is okay all right let's see actions this person will take the actions this person will take please okay we've got the page of pentacles We've got the star, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius, the actions this person will take. Okay, we've got the nine of wands. How will this lead to commitment? We've got the four of swords. How will this lead to commitment between the two of them? We've got the five of cups and we have the page of cups again. All right, so the death isn't at the bottom of the deck. There's a huge transformation coming to this situation. Um, I'm not going to double clarify them. I'm just going to clarify them once. But from what I have already on the board, I already see an apology. Okay, and again, this can be an X for some of you. But I, for a lot of you, I just feel like it's somebody who didn't, who was just mean to you, you know, or they treated you cold, okay? Um, and there's a huge transformation. People can change. I hate when people are like, oh, people don't change. A tiger never changes stripes. That's that's an individual situation because it's all about a choice, a mind change, okay? People can change. That's the meaning of repentance, a changing of the mind, okay? Turning, a, turning away from the direction you're going in and going in another direction, all right? So I see an apology, and I see a lot of healing here. But it's because this person with the Nine of Swords, they either acknowledge the wounding within themselves and what they caused, but they also are persevering. This is the energy of not giving up, Virgo, right? Five of Cups, I feel like this person expresses some remorse here, okay? All right, and I do feel like with the Page of Cups, this is the beginning of, this is the friendship energy. This is the, the let's start over, okay, and the right way energy, okay? Let's see. I see the Page of Pentacles, the Apologies coming in. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. I feel like this person has been holding back. I feel like this person knows has has known that they needed to apologize all right that they but i feel like it became so overwhelming that they don't have a choice here okay so let's see the star i mean they do have a choice always but you know what i mean it became became too overwhelming we've got the two of cups maybe this person will express their wishes 
to see you face to face to talk to you um maybe this will be a meeting out of the blue where this person is like hey I know that the last time we talked I was tripping I said something mean that thing's been bothering me ever since such and such let me tell you guys when I was in high school I know y'all like my little stories I'll make it quick I promise when I was in high school uh because this might apply to some of y'all um one of the most popular athletes at a party um decided to hit me with a ball okay in front of everyone he thought it was funny he was trying to show out but what I noticed is it wasn't like hey (laughs) I'm gonna hit her with this ball it wasn't like that it was an anger it was a um um like I had done something to him and I never had talked to this guy okay well apparently he liked me but never expressed it and I guess somehow I was just supposed to know that I don't know but he decided instead of expressing his interest he decided to humiliate me in front of everyone okay he decided to humiliate me and and he actually broke some blood vessels in my face so um what happened to this guy when he got back on the football field or he was at practice he blew out his knee and in that moment God brought to his remembrance what he did to me he knew exactly why his football career was over it was over and this guy was a senior I believe and he was set to do some big things it was over you know what I mean so I feel like this person may have been holding back from you and maybe going through some karma and feeling some guilt and so they've been holding back but you know here they come in nine of wands now your story may not be that dramatic i personally will never get with someone who put their hands or an object on me i don't care how sorry they are but we're talking to individuals here i was just telling you that story just to parallel you know as an example okay so nine of wands let's see nine of wands energy We have the emperor. Yes, this is this person like, okay, yes, I'm guarded. I'm a little scared, um, but I'm going to man up or woman up, right? Four swords, wanting to heal things, bringing a healing. um, And we have the page of wands. So here's the messages, right? Coming in with page energy, the five of cups. This person expresses some remorse okay the death energy in reverse yeah this person expresses and there's the devil yeah they express remorse for the way that things ended it did not end the correct way um if this person i'm getting a channel message if this person said they never wanted to see you again and they want you out of their life i want you out of my life i never want to have anything to do with you ever don't ever contact me don't ever if don't and they have gone out of their way to show you they don't want to have nothing to do with you i feel like this person regrets that if they said that okay that's just uh for some of you okay page of cups for some of you this person could have just ghosted they didn't say nothing they didn't say nothing so here we got the chariot taking action we have the ace of swords this is confession this is truth let's talk about this can we talk can we talk about this can we talk about what happened got the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck virgo capricorn taurus i see cancer scorpio uh capricorn virgo i mean i'm sorry leo sag aries more aries aquarius virgo capricorn taurus energy here okay all right virgo very um interesting kind of deep really kind of deep all right let's get some highlights and see who this person might be Sorry about that, y'all. Let's see who this person might be. Let's see what clues we can get. Give us, give us some clues of who this person might be, so Virgo knows who they are. Some little clues, please. So Virgo knows who this person is. Virgo knows who this person is. Okay, we've got merit making again. That energy of making up for what they did. Okay, all right. So someone who used to be really mean to you suddenly starts being really nice to you and 
you're like mm, okay so we have a live and learn okay i'm getting school vibes for some of you i'm talking yeah i'm talking middle school high school college um maybe if you're in school right now higher learning um but this also can be someone who expresses that they have learned some life lessons here uh lately okay what else what else what else we have death yeah i'm telling you somebody i'm trying to tell you some of you could be meeting or seeing this person again at a home going okay and my condolences if you have lost someone close to you virgo okay um we have sweetheart here pure unconditional love beloved yeah you know i feel like um i don't know if this person is going to express that they see you as a sweetheart maybe they'll call you sweetheart maybe they'll say hey sweetheart how you doing hi sweetie you know something sweet maybe in the in the in their words we've got family at the bottom of the deck again i feel like there's some sort of reunion between people that have shared some life experience together either blood family school work church i don't know something is bringing you all back together here okay and that's where this person expresses love all right let's see what what else are clues so that virgo knows who this person is what else what other clues what other clues so virgo knows who this person is we have nourish self-growth self-focus soul finding you've been on that journey but maybe when you see this person again you may see that growth in them as well like dang they've grown up a little bit this person this person's not like they used to be. They 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 found themselves. Cause maybe you always knew, you know, that that tough boy, that tough girl act, it's an act. You know, we have intimacy. So you may be seeing a side of this person where you guys begin to bond, and this person begins to confide in you. Okay, this person could start confiding in you. How will Virgo know who this person is? got twin flame energy here so maybe for some of you consider this person your twin flame this is the second time we've seen twin flames okay it's the second time we've seen it right and we have only you at the bottom of the deck so maybe this person feels like um they've tried to replace you but they can't they simply can't replace you virgo uh let's get some more energy mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this does not belong in here these don't belong in here either okay i'll be mixing these decks together y'all let's see how will virgo know who this person is give me some details give me some details how does virgo know who this person is okay we've got passion so there could be this even if it's unspoken this fire between the two of you that you know it's like even if there's anger you know it's like that that hotness I you know ain't no I'm just saying you know we got redemption yeah this person will try to redeem themselves they will try to redeem themselves okay I feel like this person has looked back at their actions their life and said god dog I was a butthole what did I do why did I say that you know we have fertility here I'm not gonna put her out because she's um she's nude but um there could be an energy of may i mean hey for some of you maybe you did maybe this is your baby daddy baby mama okay but for others of you fertility just talks about new beginnings all right planting a seed and watching it grow okay um or maybe you you had a um a pregnancy with this person in the past something like that okay um and this could be someone that you released you know you you gave them the god you said you know what um i'm done here let's get some let's get some of these these are some weird cards but they could apply to some of you um how does virgo know who this person is how does virgo know who this person is okay Ooh, we've got the simp energy so hmm how would this apply i mean maybe they start what being what someone would concern with 
would consider that towards you in trying to make up for their past behavior for others of you you've seen them like this with other people maybe you've called called them this or maybe their friends called them this we got a billionaire mm. for some of you okay so even if this person maybe they went and made something of themselves okay um i just heard potential I just heard potential for some of you you have said to yourself this person has potential to be a billionaire if they could only get it together if they could only do this if they could only do that whatever all right give me one more from here give me one more from here and we got troll so for some of you this person has trolled you online even if you didn't know it was them okay the oracle's at the bottom of the deck and this energy here says you know who this is <laughs> like trust your intuition like you know you know who this is we're still gonna get more clues all right we'll, we'll get more clues um but some of you may know who this person is okay all right let's see i want to get some actual like descriptions here Remember in the descriptions, you can have total opposites. You can have light hair and dark hair, light skin and dark skin, you know, tall, short, whatever, because there's thousands of you. Okay. So just keep that in mind. It's not a personal reading. All right. Let's see. How does Virgo know who this person is? Okay. We have self-absorbed. Yes. I definitely can see that this person, especially back in the day, thought they was thought the sun shine out of their buttocks um comfortable together you know this person you know this person virgo you know this person you know this person you know this joker all right sometime this year you will see this person or you already have seen this person Okay, this person can be much older for some of you not everybody or you could be much older okay or it's much old it's much it's when you're much older that you reunite so again for some of you it was 20 30 40 years ago high school whatever okay you got religious okay so re religion could be a factor here accomplished so this person may have gone off and done some things or maybe you did but religious, um, I just got a channel message. <laughs> this is one of them people who you may have looked at and said, oh, their dad's a preacher, their mom's a preacher, or they act really religious. They're in church every Sunday, but they're mean. They're nasty. They play women, excuse me, or they're promiscuous, or they play men, or whatever. So they're not as as holier than thou then they then they try to make people think they are they're hypocrites you've caught you may have called this person a hypocrite before for some of you that was just the message that i just got okay let's see they could be a pk you know a preacher's kid for some of you or something like that all right we have fleeting romance yeah for so for some of you it was the type of thing where it was like a one night stand or something that was short-lived because this person could have dipped on you you know could have said, I'm out of here. We have shows empathy. Okay. So maybe you showed empathy for this person. Um, this person could have went off and got married. The married card did come out, but I'm real picky about how cards come out, how they feel when they come out of my hand. So I don't, you know, I'm picky about that. All right, let's see. So maybe this person went and got married. You guys could have been married. Let's see. We have supportive. So again it could be a sad situation for some of you that brings you back together um oh look lost spouse this person could have lost their spouse so they could be a widow or a widower all right um best friend is at the bottom of the deck so your best friend could be involved their best friend could be involved you two could have been best friends um at some point maybe this person wants you to be their best friend again maybe you were the best friend that this person ever had for for some of you all right so those of you i tell you every time if you need to go to google and look up the chinese zodiac then do that what year you are born or what year this person is born or that determines the chinese zodiac however it could also be about their personality traits that are coming out here 
We also are going to see the regular tropical zodiac. Your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign may come out or theirs, or it may have something to do with that season, right? So example, if we get Leo that comes out, it could be about Leo season, okay? Or it could be about you dealing with someone with Leo in their chart, all right? All right, let's see. Who is Virgo dealing with here? How does Virgo know who they're dealing with here? How does Virgo know who they're dealing with here? Let's see one. How many am I going to get out here? All right. Who's Virgo dealing with here? Virgo's next committed relationship. Virgo's, oops. Virgo's next committed relationship. I only got three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me make sure I get how many I got here. Okay, Virgo's next committed relationship. Okay, I didn't mean to get that many, but that's what I got, so whatever. All right, we got the year of the pig. Okay, 1947, 59, 71, 83, 95, 2007, 2019, 2031. The year of the pig, Chinese zodiac, look that up. Friend, acquaintance, co-worker. Again, I feel like you know this person. All right, the year of the ox, 1937, 49, 61, 73, 85, 97, 2009. 2021 all right we have karmic you definitely could have felt like this person was a karmic karmic energy is also about lessons so you could have learned lessons and this person definitely i feel like learned some lessons gemini season or gemini in the chart the year of the rabbit 1939 51 63 75 87 99 2011 2023 we have admirer, so this is someone again who I felt like fought their 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 um, feelings for you. I feel like for a lot of you, it had to do with what other people would think or say, okay, or making making themselves feel good. The year of the monkey, 1944, 56, 68, 80, 92, 2004, 2016, 2028. We have the year of the dog, 1946, 58, 1970, 1982, 1994, 2006, 2018, 2030. Aquarius in the chart, Aquarius season, and long term here. So you could have been in a long term relationship with this person, but this is definitely what this person will express that they want with you. This reading actually could go longer because really we would need to get into how, like the details of how you would go into a commitment with someone like this. But Virgo, I really believe it's starting with someone who's humbling themselves and an apology for sure, Virgo. Ooh, okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, Virgo. Remember, there's a collective reading, not a very long one over in Rumble. Um, I will post that in a post so you guys have that um, that link. When you need a personal reading, that email's in the description. Um, and let's see. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. If you're not getting notifications because people are telling me they're not, you may want to turn off the bell and turn it back on. Okay? And that may help, okay? I've heard that that helps. Anyway, Virgo, I love you guys. Light and love to you. Take care. Until next time, bye-bye.